and welcome back to Minecraft Quests with SRJ26. This time around I'm going to show you the arena. My pride and joy. As I've told you already, we have um, many, many miles, I don't know, many blocks worth of sewers all underneath this part of the city and actually extending up to the, the far side uh, up to the north. Is that north? I think so. Um, and they all come down to here. So let's go in here and we'll look at the arena and the mob grinder. Uh, I think that Alex has claimed the arena. Uh, the kids were all claiming buildings and uh, Alex has good good taste. So you come in and here's a little stand where presumably uh, they would take your money or your slime balls or whatever the currency is. And there is the arena. And if you come around this way with me, because you have no choice, because you're in my head. Uh, here are the stands. We have stands on all sides. And you can sort of walk around. And these ones are the uh, the, the pricey seats, because they're wood. The rest are stone. I'll explain why they're stone in a minute. And we come over here, and here's the entrance. It says arena floor entrance. Proceed at your own risk. And come down and out, and we are in the arena. And there's a uh, there, there used to be glowstone all around but uh, the kids of course wanted to play in here and as a result the glowstone kind of got blowed up and they bloated it up so um, on this side you can see there were creeper explosions and you can actually see back and there are caves back behind there and when we were in the mines uh, we actually came up behind the behind the arena so I'm going to come back up out here and I'm going to show you sort of the, the guts of the operation because the mob grinder is special. It is a way to channel monsters or mobs either into the arena or into a drowning pit. You can choose. So if we, we're in the control room here and it's, it's all lined in uh, obsidian so that if there's an explosion the sand will be blown up but the obsidian will stay you know for the safety of, of the city dwellers um, and if you come over here you can see it's kind of lit up um, so that results in fewer mobs spawning basically which is too bad um, I blocked off the doors because uh, that was being a problem but I will take you down here and I will show you uh, the first bit of functionality I want to show you is the way that you can get the water to go down or let the mobs pass through so let's come down here and here is our drowning pit and under the floor over here there is a, um, a channel where the, the stuff will come out and we'll flow down here and then go out this way and then we'll be channeled over to a spot where it can be picked up and I'm gonna just switch off the flow of water right now and we'll show that to you no monsters where are all my friends okay so here's our switch boom throw the switch now instead of going down into the drowning pit can see there are some pistons right there and some glass got, got pushed in the way and some more glass got opened up now the water flows straight through and it flows straight through into a holding cell uh, but this holding cell is open right now so I'm gonna shut the holding cell there you go we'll f up will flow water into cell pushing mobs into arena so turn it off and now there's a door so pistons shut the door. Now all the mobs that get flowed through past the uh, place where they would have dropped into the grinder will come into the holding cell. So the concept is that you can actually hold, you know, death matches where players can go in and battle monsters, and you can fill up your holding cell, and then when everyone's ready and the crowds are all cheering, you can let them loose and then blow up all the glass with creeper explosions. But it's it's fun, and and the glowstone too, of course. Um, and let me just come down here and I'll show you we now have a dry 
uh, dry drowning pit so the water is not coming down and I can actually come back here and I will come up here and I'll show you a quick look at some of the functionality um, this is the water that will flow them through and out the door and it got pretty complicated to make all the redstone it's not impossible but it's hard um, kind of hurt my head a little bit although I've already confessed to you that I'm not an expert at dealing with redstone but next I'm going to show you what ha what you do if your if your arena gets full of creepers and you don't oh oh do I hear a monster oh I hope I hear a monster here monster okay who do we have who do we have hey where are my monsters there's supposed to be a monster hold on a second Come on, help her brother out. Oh, oh, I see a creeper. Okay, that's good. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come play with me. Come play. You. You can see that there's a ledge over there. And that ledge was probably a combination of Enderman and Creeper Explosions. Because it used to be um, quite, quite easy for the mobs to come through and then they just flow right through here. Now it's not so simple. But... I will, let me see, I'll go downstairs and show you something else and give them a minute to, to wend their way into the arena. I think they'll come in eventually. Uh, it just takes a minute. So, I'm going to go downstairs and I will show you the next part. You saw before that the, um, the drowning pit flows stuff down here. Well, there's another switch down here that controls where where the stuff that drops is is sent. Um, this lever right here controls a piston sort of deep in the floor and if it's up and this water will flow over here and it'll come over this way and I'm sure there won't be anything waiting for us but I'll oh, oh these doors drive me crazy there we go okay so right down there if you stand there you can sit and get a ton of uh, well I used to get bones and you used to get feathers not anymore and it's all kinds of good stuff oh I'm gonna take some of those actually because I might need them in the arena okay so this is the storage room it's where uh, the loot is kept but if you put the lever down what happens is instead of the stuff flowing here the stuff will all flow down a long and one block tall uh, path over to do you remember the um, one of the 13 towers along the city walls in the basement how there was well maybe I, maybe I didn't show you but there was a drop chute that went all the way down to bedrock where there are some mines and down there there's another storage room so there's a second storage room where you can send all your stuff um, I don't even know what I was thinking I maybe I was thinking that if the town was besieged and they needed to funnel supplies down there because there were enemies up here they could turn this on and then send all the supplies down to bed I don't know it was some crazy idea it, it was partially just an excuse to play with pistons and redstone to be perfectly blunt so um, let's see if our monsters are in here and ready to play hey no they're not oh man I may have to go out there and well, kick some booty or something because these guys should be out there and ready for playing. All right, let's um break that. Break that. Do we, look at that. We actually have stuff to light up. Open up the door. Okay. Ah, uh -huh. I think we had some explosions here. That is probably no small part. Whoa. Why? We had problems with our mob spawner. Alright, let's see if that helps. 
That should help. As long as you don't get surprised by any more. Oh, don't. All right, that might that might help. Oh, wait a second. I see what the problem is. All right, let's do a little repair. Which is always fun to do when there are monsters in your face. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pause and repair the floor out there, and I'll be right back. Okay. Um, after much ado, I have gone and fixed part of the problem out there in the sewers. Apparently, uh, I think some of the kids were playing out there, and there were some explosions, and these mob grinders are fairly finely tuned systems. So, the mobs weren't actually coming down here anymore. But, look at this. We've got some friends. And they should be coming down here. Why aren't they coming down here? Are those endermen in the way? Is that what's going on? You know what? I will flush them down. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, beautiful. So, now I have all the new ones that aren't coming down. See, they're stuck. You can look down there, and you can see they are stuck because that intersection is not quite set up properly because the floor panels, pressure plates, um, are gone. So the flow of the water is not working. But that's not a problem anymore because I fixed it a little bit. And now you can see we are flushing the system sending our little friends into the arena. And now, we can go down and fight them. But you know what? I just fought them for like 15 minutes with much cursing and uh, frustration and getting wet and jumping and falling. And I died once. It was very exciting. So, I'm not going to fight them. I'm actually going to... Well, I've got a system for this, you see. If we don't want to... Oh, there's a one last little friend. Come on, little friend. Come on, little friend. You can do it. Oh, he's shy. Well, he's, he's smart, actually. To turn lever up to turn on lava. Over there. And if those are still working, we have a... Hey, look at that! We have a arena clearing system. Our little friends are going to go in there and get very, very burned up. Which is just the way I like them. So this is our system to clear out the arena. If oh, it's dramatic too. Um, if we have mobs in there and they're taking too long to die, or you want to just clear it out so that you can um, close off the entrance and and have an empty arena to go do maintenance, turn on the lava. Turn on that. There we go. Okay, the door is shut. We'll turn off the lava, and that is your arena clearing system. So there's a whole way that you can clear it out. Let's say you've got 30 creepers in there because the, the, the let's say the sewers are actually working properly and it's flooding a million guys in there, which happens um, if it's set up right. Well, hey little guy. Oh, he didn't even get over to fight me. So that's how you clear it out. So this was the arena build. Um, it's a combination mob grinder arena. Um, it's got a nice little half glass roof, and it's probably the, the crown jewel of this whole build, or at least one of the major uh, cool things about the build that I'm very happy with. Uh, thank you for watching. This has been SRJ26 with Minecraft Quests. Um, here to hopefully give you ideas for stuff to put on. Oh, I didn't even show you upstairs. Wait a second. Go upstairs and. It's the Balcony Barn Grill. Seat yourself. Alrighty, so this is the upstairs. We have some dwellings, some rooms up there for staff and for brave warriors. And uh, I'm not going to sit down because, to be perfectly blunt, my legs don't bend. But thank you for watching, and until next time, this has been SRJ26. Bye-bye. Happy questing.